Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zidane, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further, hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder cake, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown, but the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47.
Hey, what's up? Why do all those people hate the Swedes all of a sudden? You haven't seen the news? Hello, hi, welcome, you know welcome. welcome. Yeah, Please, I'm not that good. Like? <laughs> all of North Africa. Oh, great. Give me a bag of the rest of the new hotel, and I can't thank you. Thank you. We should be just like Come closer. Our colorful lamps are the best in Morocco. Come closer. Come closer. Our colorful lamps are the best in Morocco. And a good day to you, sir. Salam. What would you like? Uh, pick a beautiful lamp and let me make a good salam alaikum. Uh, no harm done. Greetings. You seen Crystal Dawn is suddenly popping up? Mm. Huh? Good timing, too. Please make way. But I don't see what Muzabuni or Harak would do here. We're not exactly oppressed. I like Harak. I don't know about Muzabuni. I don't like the military. Stand for too much order for my taste. But Harak has ideas for an ideology that I can sympathize with. What do you mean? Well, he rejects the failed political dogmas of today. Democracy doesn't work. It's a powerhouse that fuels... Say what? Didn't see me there. The hell are Crystal Dawn doing here? What are you talking about? Crystal Dawn aren't here. That's an Eastern African problem. Compass! Oh, welcome, welcome. Take a look around. Sir, I have time for you. We've got all kinds of wonderful moments. Even those bold ladies that you Americans like so much. Very hush hush. Okay, I'll go. press pass and the guy is so relieved that he just pays me a month's salary up front of course I'm not gonna do it there's no way I'm getting near that place besides I've got all this nice free money and the dunce doesn't even know my real name would you believe I said my name was Finley right so I'm at the shisha place down near the bazaar whenever you can sneak out come and join me okay smoke is on me How's your father? Doing well. Thanks for asking. He's upstairs right now working on this. Novel of his, some kind of political thriller, I think. You know, airport lit. Oh, that's nice. 
So he doesn't miss the old school? Well, he was headmaster for 30 years. I think he still carries around the master key. You know, the one that Report anything the suspicious to us, okay? To Sorry, sir. I but can't let you through here. That's Please move for on. You. Well, maybe now he'll be a famous writer instead. Right. <laughs> And maybe my carpets are... The old headmaster of the school Zaydan is using as his field HQ lives right above the carpet shop. According to his son, he kept the school's master key out of nostalgia. Oh, Supposedly, this opens any mom. lock in the building. It might surprise you yet. Anyway, got to run. See you around. Yep, up, up and away. Diplomacy's Edge. When his best friend is killed. Sorry, sir. You need the correct clearance. Sorry, uh, hey. I don't think I know you, mister. Security breach! Keep your head down! Nice and easy! He's on the roof! Just one of those days. Hey, don't wave that around.
So much for breaking and entering. You're in. Good work, 47. Now to locate General Zaydan. Hey, you might want to put that away. Carry on. Being a little unprofessional, you better put that thing away. So what do you do, prisoner? Uh, never you mind. General Zayden says the man's a traitor and That's all there is to it. Probably got cold feet about the operation. Tried to rat us out. Ask the captain. Oh, the phone forever. It was so important. That's why. Yeah, I want that. That's why you saved the execution for after the phone call. Finally, you want me finish. I understand. Wanda. <laughs> that is General Reza Zaydan, Keeper of the Peace. Well, no salute. Are you here to gloat, Reza? Thought you had a government to overthrow. You should always embrace the small pleasures. And I would do it again. Proudly. You're a monster, Reza. I am. He wasn't supposed to have been in the prison yard. But you know what they say about omelets. And he died for a cause. To line the pot. Pockets of your mysterious backers. I didn't. And say it was a good cause. Right, right. Give up! I didn't down. Put you down. Courtyard is clear. Where is it? <laughs>
He's there! On the stairs! Show yourself! of your mysterious backers. I didn't say it was a good cause. Right, right. Well, this was lovely. Now please leave. That's it? No threats? No, I'll kill you if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> Reza, oh, I will kill you if it's the last thing I do. of your mysterious backers. I didn't say it was a good cause. Right, right. Well, this was lovely. Now please leave. That's it? No threats? No, I'll kill you if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> Reza, oh, I will kill you if it's the last thing I do. of your mysterious backers. I didn't say it was a good cause. Right, right. Well, this was lovely. Now please leave. That's it? Honey. No threats? No, I'll kill you if it's the last thing I do. 
You really should stop before I lose my temper. There will be consequences. You're not a soldier from around here. I'd like to say nice try, but the words just won't come out. No. No. of your mysterious backers. I didn't say it was a good cause. Right, right. Well, this was lovely. Now, please leave. That's it? No threats? No, I'll kill you if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> Reza. Oh, I will kill you if it's the last thing I do. strength.
You made it. Most impressive, 47. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg. According to the appointment schedule, Klaus Strandberg has booked a massage to relieve his back pains. No doubt all that time in prison has caused muscle stiffness. The masseur, who works at a local clinic, has apparently already checked into the building. It is not fair. It is. It isn't. You can't keep me in here under these circumstances. If I had known... Well, that's easy for you to say. You're not the one supposed to be doing... God! Stop that stranglehold! Release that person! Now! Don't you move! You're under arrest! I'm telling you, but... Alright, lady girl! On your knees! I sit on your knees! Ugh. I'm too fast for you, fool! guy running around <gasps> oh, so you know who it is or he's dressed as a security guard okay i'll check it out Connie Engstrom, Monsieur, here for an appointment with Klaus Strandberg. Oh, Mr. Engstrom, please proceed to the massage room. It's upstairs on the right. I'll inform Mr. Strandberg. What? Klaus Strandberg, I know, right? go to the massage room. Your session awaits. I repeat, Klaus Strandberg, please go to the massage room. Easy, buddy. Room. I need to search you.
Uh... Hey, hey, what's the hurry? We need to search you, sir. Usually, oh. you apologize. Massage guy. Yeah, right, of course. You must be in a hurry. Nothing to do with me. I I'm gonna have to ask you. <laughs> Your history, you bald asshole! Seven-figure inheritance. You are joking. No one does that. Well, that's gotta Wish, be uh, <laughs> I gotta rub you down, sir. <laughs> I hear he's on a strict protein diet. Okay, uh, just okay, standard right. procedure will be done very soon. Are they appealing to me? Is he okay? Thanks. You can go through. Man with the golden touch. Well, let's get started. Shall we? Ah, oh, this muscle tension is killing me. Why don't you lie down, Mr. Strangberg? Oh, please. Call me Klaus. Well done, 47. I will leave Strandberg in your capable hands. Oh, what is it now? Really, I don't have all day. That's the ticket. I tell you, 
Nothing makes you tense like thousands of people wanting to kill you. <laughs> Help. Both targets down. Now head towards an exit. Oh, hey, you're that masseur, right? Mr. Healing Hands. What? Mr. Ingstrom. But I... I don't understand. There is no sign of forced entry, no alarms, nothing. One of my people has gone missing in Johannesburg. A key bearer. I wish I'd been informed. But still, the system demands two keys, and the rest are all accounted for. Except for your late predecessors. Cobb? But... His plane went down over the Pacific. It was an accident. Such was the conclusion at the time. Yes. like a conspiracy. Probably isn't. And yet, the failed coup in Morocco, the ether virus, someone knows about us. There was a pattern and I failed to see it. Providence is under attack. <clears throat> How much was that? Money. <laughs> Not money, Mr. Fennin. Information on all of our assets and operatives. Like you. Dig a trench, Director. And make it a deep one. Because none of you are safe anymore. 